the stability that is lacking in their family is due to substance abuse or mental health. I got to spend this weekend with one of my former foster child, foster daughters. She is just over a year old. We reunified her with her mother when she was 10 months old. I would had her since she was 6 days old. Her mother had walked out of the door of McCambridge, ended up in a correctional center, and then lived in a home here in Columbia. Her mother is doing fantastic. My foster daughter is doing fantastic. That is what this is about taking care of families so families can take care of themselves. I'm also here as an advocate, and we've got a long way to go. We need true mental health parity. And what you heard about ERISA, 60% of employees, no matter what we do in the state of Missouri, we need to fight it at the federal level because 60% of employees are covered at the federal level. We also need to reverse the 2005 Medicaid cuts. But we also need to look at the rules. We talked about it in the school systems. We talked about it with doctors and how they're reimbursed and why they're reimbursed. We also need to look at those reimbursement rates. In my rural communities, it is not worth it to treat mental health patients. It's not that doctors are cold-hearted. It's not that they don't want to. But when they are having to pay for their overhead, they have to make financial choices just like any other business provider. And we need to tackle substance abuse. Dual diagnosis. It, it is cheaper and it is easier to treat a mental health and more effective sometimes with an illegal substance than by golly, let's make it easier to do it with a doctor's prescription. And that's what we need to do. This is not a morality issue. This is what is the symptom? How are they treating it? Let's make it an easier choice for them. And then all of these can go overall. We just need to increase access to health care. Mental, physical, it's all the same. We need to increase access to health care. You don't have to stop me at the door. You know exactly where I stand. I'm Kelly Schultz, and I'm running in the 21st District. Thank you very much.